We are taking a closer look at what last night's GOP debate meant for the candidates and the voters from both sides of the aisle. We have Kelly Mahar with Compass Colorado here to talk about the GOP point of view, appropriately in your red. We've also got on the Democratic side, Nine News political expert James Mejia. James, great to have you back with us. Thanks so much. So, Kelly, let's have you start off for us. There was a lot more headbutting between the candidates this time. We didn't see Donald Trump debate and give that overall kind of response that he's become known for. So what do you make of that uh, with the candidates really beginning to kind of almost take Trump seriously as a candidate? Do you think that's what it indicates? Well, partially. It was also kind of the format as well. They allowed a lot more interaction between the candidates rather than asking them one-on-one -on -one questions. Also, the longer format, it was the the, uh, the adult table debate was three hours yeah. with 11 candidates. So they really had some time to interact, and we got to see how they interacted. Really, the story last night was Carly Fiorina. She, it was her first time at the adult table. The main one. Yeah. yeah. And she she really, I mean, hands down, brought it. A lot she of did, people saying she really shined. Yeah, it was, you know, her interaction, particularly with Trump, was... It was like an elegant evisceration. It, it was, was amazing. Which we've shown that response to yeah. it. it. It was quite brilliant, a lot of people believe. Um, James, I have to say, Democrats weren't left out of this because social media is great. You can respond during the entire time. What do you think was the biggest takeaway for the Democrats that will work in their favor from this debate? Well, clearly, the best thing for Democrats is Republicans are starting to go at each other. No longer is Trump given a free ride. Fiorina went after him. Jeb Bush went after him. Uh, you saw Paul go after him. So no longer is it a free ride for uh, for Donald Trump. I'm excited to see a, a, a little more of the speaking points that we would use, frankly, being used last night. Yeah, kind of get through all the weeds and then get down to the meat. Well, this is not the end of this by far. We've got so much more to talk about. So you all are going to come back later on in just a few minutes. Kelly and James will be here at 7 over on Channel 20. Thank you both for being here and spending the morning with us, breaking this all down. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, let's go to Marty Coniglio for more on the weather. Good morning, Marty. Good 